Before the murders, Gacy got arrested for molesting a teenage boy, then paid another teen to beat up the victim. In 1967, John Wayne Gacy was a married father of two, an active member of the JC's charitable organization, and a highly paid manager of three Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC franchise outlets, which prompted friends to nickname him the Colonel. However, Gacy was also grappling with taboo impulses, such as when he said the sight of a naked male corpse aroused him, and the desires set off by an alleged homosexual encounter with another adult JC's member, desires that Gacy focused on young boys. To attract teenagers for sex, Gacy converted his basement into a hangout where he provided alcohol and pornography. One target, 15-year-old Donald Voorhees, said Gacy got him drunk and then forced him into performing oral sex. After that, Gacy allegedly felt emboldened and regularly paid an unknown number of teen boys $50 for sex. He also blackmailed some of the teenagers to keep the abuse going. In August 1968, Donald Voorhees told his father, a friend of Gacy's from the JCs, about what had been done to him. Another 16-year-old victim went directly to the police. Gacy was arrested and indicted on one count of sodomy. Gacy immediately denied the claims and then paid an 18-year-old employee of his to beat up Voorhees and tell him to stay out of court. Upon promptly getting caught, Gacy admitted everything and was sentenced to 10 years. He served two years, got his high school degree, and excelled as the facility's head cook. Gacy then got off in 1971 with time served and just 12 months of probation, according to ThoughtCo. Robin Gecht, leader of the satanic cannibal serial killers known as the Chicago Ripper Crew, worked for John Wayne Gacy. After being sentenced to death in 1980, John Wayne Gacy actively studied law at the Menard Correctional Center in Chester, Illinois. He continued to maintain that at least 28 of the murders had been committed by employees who had keys to his house. That claim seemed implausible until it was later revealed that Gacy had hired handyman Robin Gecht at least once to work as a subcontractor. Gecht, it turned out, was the leader of the Chicago Ripper crew, a four-man gang of devil-worshipping sexual sadists who raped, tortured, and cannibalized victims, often prostitutes that they either pick it up off the street or simply grab it and force it inside the group's van. The Ripper crew is suspected in the disappearance of 18 Araya women throughout 1981 and 82. No criminal connection has ever been established between Gacy and Gecht and the former's claims of anything resembling innocence have been repeatedly disproven. Still, some observers have long wondered if Gacy had helped committing his abominations and Gecht is a figure that naturally comes up in such speculative conversations. Investigators are still working to solve the totality of Gacy's crimes. Of the 33 bodies recovered from John Wayne, Gacy's property, all but five, have been properly identified. Authorities are continuing to work to match names to the evidence, to honor the lives Gacy took, and to provide closure for the loved ones of the remaining unknown victims. In 2018, DNA testing positively identified the boy previously referred to as victim number 24. He was James Jimmy Harkinson, a 16-year-old from St. Paul, Minnesota, who had hopped a bus to Chicago in the summer of 1976, called his mom, and then disappeared. Also in 2018, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children used facial reconstruction techniques to release new images of what two more of Gacy's unidentified victims might have looked like. Both reconstructed faces appear to be white males, possibly between the ages of 17 and 22. It's hoped that someone will see these sketches and recognize the faces of someone who has been missing for more than four decades. In October 2021, Cook County Sheriff's Police identified victim number five found in Gacy's crawl space on Desi 26, 1978, as Francis Wayne Alexander. According to the Sheriff's Office, Alexander would have been 21 or 22 years old at the time of his murder, which was believed to have occurred sometime between early 1976 and early 1977. More information continues to arise among the living as well. In May 2018, David Bolton, a 71-year-old Chicago resident, publicly recalled his encounter at age 10 with an older teenager he believes was John Wayne Gacy. 
Bolton said he met the teen at a lakeside vacation resort in Wisconsin, and during a fishing expedition, the older kid forced Bolton to kill frogs and threatened to drown him. Bolton told the Daily Herald, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I can't prove it, but it was him. Thank you, friends, for listening today. If you would like to hear about anyone in particular, let me know in the comments. Comment your thoughts down below, and as always, smash the like button, subscribe, and share. Until next time, friends, Midnight Society.